Hello everyone. Last time we've talked about the tricks of removing elements from a container. For vector and deck, you should use algorithm function remove followed by mem function erase. For list, you should use list's member function remove. And for associative container and unordered container, you should use their member function erase. Today we'll talk about removing elements and doing something else. For example, I have a multi set of integer and I want to remove all the ones and every every time I remove a one I want to print a message to the standout because I want to know it whenever an element is removed. And I cannot do it with all the functions. The algorithm function remove, the member function remove or the member member function erase. So I will manually create a loop to do the job. And here's what I'm doing. I use iter equal to c.begin, iter not equal to c.end, iter plus plus. And if the element of iter is equal to 1, I call c.erase iter and print a message erased one item of iter. Now you may want to pause the video and think what would happen to this code. Let's run it. It prints out erased one item of one and then the program crashed. So the first element of one is erased and then the program crashed. What happened? In the first loop of the for loop, iter is equal to c dot begin, which is the element of one. Since this element is equal to one, it is erased successfully. And then something bad happened. After the code of c dot erase iter is finished, the element that iter was pointing to is erased. And every time an element is erased, the iterator that was pointing to that element is invalidated. So iter is invalidated. It is no longer a valid iterator anymore. And this is true for all containers. Iterators of erased elements are always invalidated. So when we go to the second round of the for loop and check if iter equal to c dot end, the result is undefined behavior. And in this case, the undefined behavior is the program crashed. So how can we fix this? One way to fix it is we can move the incrementing of iter to over here. Now since this is a post incrementing of iter, it will return the old iterator for c to erase. And iter is advanced to the next element successfully. And the, since the iter is already pointing to the next element, we need to move this statement to the before erase. And when we go to the second run of the for loop, iter is already pointing to the next element. If iter is not equal to 1, we need to increment the iter. Now let's run the loop, run the program. Now all the ones are erased successfully. And the program did not crash. So this is how you erase elements from associative containers with handcrafted loop. Now how about other containers? What about vectors? Can I use this same way to erase elements from a vector? Let's try it. And run it. As you see, only three elements of one are erased. Now what happened? For vector, whenever an element is erased, all the iterators after that element are invalidated. So whenever one is erased, all the iterators that points to any one of the rest of element gets invalidated. So even though iter is advanced 
to the next element successfully, it is still an invalidated iterator. So the rest of the program still has undefined behavior. And in this case, the undefined behavior gives you an illusion that the program is running OK, which is worse than uh, crashing. The correct way to do it is this, iter equal to C dot erase iter. Because the vector's erase function always return a valid iterator that points to the next element after the erased element. Now let's run it. Now all the ones are erased and the program did not crash. So this is the correct way to erase elements from a sequence container and an ordered container. As a summary, for sequence container and unordered container, you use the return value from the erase function as the next element. And for associative container, you use post incrementing to advance to the next element. You can't use the returned value because associative containers erase function returns nothing. Now I have to confess that I have been misleading you to handcraft your own loop. Of course you don't have to handcraft your own loop. You can always use the algorithm. Now let me show you the library solution. Let me remove this loop. First I'll define a function. It's called equal 1. It takes one parameter of integer e. If e equals 1, it prints out a message and then return true. Otherwise, it will return false. And then I call the algorithm function remove if. Remove if c dot begin c dot end equal 1. And followed by the member function erase to do the actual work of erasure. And let's run it. As you see, this also removed all the ones from the container. So we can accomplish the same thing without worrying about all the pitfalls of handcrafting a loop of erasure. Now you may say, this is not flexible. What if I want to erase 12? Do I need to create another function to check if e equal to 12? That is a good point we can make our solution better. We can add, add another integer parameter called p and if e equal to p it will return true otherwise it will return false. And in the remove if function we can use bind function to bind the second parameter to any number we want. Say we want to remove 12 and run it only one item of 12 is removed. Now some people may say this is still not as flexible as I wanted it to be because if I want to print out different message I still need to create different function for that. Alright, we can make it even better. And we could use a lambda function to do the job. With lambda function, it is almost as flexible as handcrafting a loop and without worrying about all the subtlety of handcrafting a loop. And also with lambda function, all the code are located in the same place, not like uh, locating uh, in another function. Now let's run it and see if it works. It works. 12 is removed. So as you see, algorithm plus lambda function is a very powerful combination as long as you get used to the syntax of a lambda function. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel so when I post a new video you will be updated. Or you can go to my channel's homepage and see what I'm offering today. Bye bye.